You know how you make the playoffs? You got to beat all me, the teams me, you're supposed to, to beat. A... You got to beat all the teams you're supposed to beat and a couple of them that look like 50-50 well, games. Well, who are? I want to well, pull up the schedule. I'm looking at the schedule right now. Yeah. Dolphins, that's like a 50-50 game. Be a good idea to win that one, right? Jets, you got to beat. I got to say the Saints, you got to beat at this point. Bucks, Not according to Marcus Spears. Bucks, you're probably going to lose to, but like there's a, Texans. You look at those first five games, you must win at least three of those games. Okay. I, I, think, they, I think they go three and two. What yeah, about three the and Cowboys? Two or four and one would also, like, you know, it's going to be tight and in you, the AFC. And you know why. What about Dallas? Hold on. I don't want to skip on Dallas. You think they it, should beat them? I don't think Dallas is great shakes. I like the Patriots more than Dallas if Mac Jones is the guy. I like the Patriots to beat the Jets. I'll be, Chargers, I'll be I think, honest. will be improved. Molly, Panthers, I don't believe look, it. Looking at this schedule, Molly, their first nine doing. games are favorable. <laughs> Yeah, what am they, I should, doing, they should Marcus? be plus 500 after the first nine games. Talk to me, Spears. What am I doing? I know, I know what you're doing. You ain't gonna, you, you're not going to get me today with the Cowboys, okay? Listen. That, <laughs> that, well, that I was waiting for an not, answer from game, somebody. That game, that you in. I'm, I'm hearing things. You I'm hearing things. Big one. Hold up, hold I up. I got a big this, one. This is first take. I'm like, what are the that expectations? They need to win games. I expect more from you, Marcus Spears. All right, where are you on how many games they should win? Yeah. Look, the first two are the, are the most important, right? Divisional games, and you want to see Mac and how he performs. And remember this, y'all. The Miami Dolphins, Davian Howard is a little different than the guys that Mac Jones been throwing against. Byron Jones is a little different. And the reason why Bill Belichick is making this decision is because he feels like Mac Jones is not going to put them in harm's way when he's playing against guys like that. I mm -hmm. just talked about how the New England Patriots want to play football. This is another, let me, let me give y'all an example. Similar situation. This is a very similar situation to what Baker Mayfield has going on in Cleveland. All right? All of the things that they did in this offseason, the things that we've listed out about the offensive line, the weapons around Mac Jones, not as good as the ones Baker have. Don't, don't, get me, don't get it misconstrued. I'm not saying that. Baker has the best offensive line in football. He has weapons. OBJ is coming back, all of those things. But this goes back to something Harry said, and I want to touch on it. At Alabama, those guys said they would prefer Mac Jones. That speaks to Mac Jones' ability and the way he played at the University of Alabama. And the hard part about drafting a quarterback, the hard part about a projection is where in the hell they are going. And this is why I was standing on the table beating it down to say it is a mistake to take Mac Jones in San Francisco. Mac Jones does not need to be in the back doing jet sweep motion, handing the ball off, having an RPOs type situation going on with, with, when he's playing. He needed to end up in New England. If we got the tape, roll it back from months ago, months before the draft, leading up to it. This is perfect for Mac Jones. This fit is perfect for Mac Jones. Don't you think for one second that Mac Jones doesn't look better than some people thought he would look because he's in New England. I don't it know. has everything to do the, with I'm that. I'm looking at the first Max. overall picks. Baker, Kyler, Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence. Mac Jones college college yes. heights fit in right with those guys. Max, Max. Baker Mayfield won a Heisman Trophy, and we didn't know if he was a starting quarterback two years ago in the NFL. <laughs> but he went Marcus first Marcus Mariota won a Heisman Trophy. The, dude, what I'm saying is this. Where Mac Jones ended up at 15 is a lot. It has a lot to do with the reason why he's not only starting, but why this team should vie for a chance to win the AFC East. You lit, Molly, if I'm at yeah. my house, okay, uh -huh. and, and you across the street, right, yeah. and I have a problem at my house, and you have a room at your house exactly set up like my room, ain't I yep. going to feel at home? Absolutely. I might even give you the master That's bedroom. That's what Mac Jones walked into. That's what he walked into. Yeah. And listen, this is by no means to say Mac Jones is not good enough to play other places or cast any aspersions on Mac Jones as far as his talent and the things that he's done. But when you end up in this situation with the New England Patriots with so much recall to what you were doing in college, you have a head start yeah, on it's, everybody, it's especially when you're coming in as a quarterback. And it's, 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 it's about where you go. 
yeah. and where you fit. And that's for any player in the NFL, right, Marcus? That's why you see some guys in free agency. They may leave yes. one team yeah. and go somewhere else and ball. Oh, it can... It's because where they went, where they left, wasn't the place no, for me... them. But where well, they went is the place for them. It can the trajectory of your career. Let, let Absolutely. Cowboys, what situation right? you get drafted let, into? Let me, give you a perfect, let me give you a perfect example of that, okay? Listen, I played ball in Dallas with a guy named Jason Hatcher. I knew Hatch was talented. I knew he was off the charts talented. He was in the wrong defense. He was in a 3-4 defense, which was not conducive to his talent. All right? This is why it matters where people end up. When mm -hmm. they when they got when we when we when I left and went to Baltimore to play in the 3-4, and Hatch was there with Rod Marinelli, who ran a 4-3, where guys can put their hand in the dirt, go up Havoc in the backfield. That is what Jason Hatcher was tailor made to do. You know what ended up happening? He ended up being a rotational guy in a 3 4. He was better than me at playing a 4 3 because of his athleticism and how he could play the game. He went to the Pro Bowl in one season. Mm -hmm. of going to the right situation and then signed, and then got a deal with the Washington football team with 10 million guaranteed because he was in the right situation he was in the in he was in a system that was conducive to him having success this is what Mac Jones walked into so it's not only about Mac Jones outperforming yeah. Cam Newton he had a leg up because he was in the right place at the right time that mm -hmm. matters. No, for sure Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.